what's up guys how's it going what's going on yeah here to fact check miss chantel chantel chantelini <laughs> whatever okay so uh cool she went and she made a video so I mean, I guess that means she's a completely different person now. Uh, I hope you're picking up on my sarcasm because I'm laying it down pretty thick. Wow, okay, so you made one video. So you are a changed woman, congratulations. Good for you, great, fabulous. No, I don't believe you. I don't believe you for a second. Um, I'm wondering why she felt compelled to do a video with her sober. Maybe because the cops came? Maybe. You think that had something to do with it? Because I do. I think it had a lot to do with it. So <laughs> it's good to know that law enforcement heard us and took it seriously and showed up at our house to be like, hey, we watching you. Um, I just want to clarify a few things that she said in her little live stream talking about how <laughs> okay, so first of all, I'm on the Ontario.ca dot Canada website um, on their distracted driving. I don't know if you can see that. There it is. Yeah, so I'm reading from there. Um, what counts as distracted driving? So remember how she said um, she can look at her phone when she's at a stoplight? I was like, I've never been to Ontario. I'm not from Ontario, but I could, I feel like that's wrong. Let me look that up though, just to be sure. Um, <laughs> Ontario's distracted driving laws apply to use of handheld communication entertainment devices and certain display screens while driving, including when you are stopped in traffic or at a red light. It's illegal to use the phone or another handheld wireless device to text dial you can only touch a device to call 911 in an emergency. And she's calling 911. No, no, other people are calling 911, not her. Okay, good to know. Use a handheld device, electronic entertainment device, such as a tablet or a portable gaming console. That doesn't apply to her. But, just in case, we all are aware. <laughs> View display screens unrelated to driving, such as watching a video. I, I, I feel like a live stream could count, like reading your chat while driving, while high. We'll get to that. Um, program a GPS device except by voice commands. <laughs> yeah, she, <laughs> she's, I haven't caught her doing that, but I think it's important to acknowledge that they make a point to say, you can't do this even at a red light on their distracted driving website. So BS, cool, 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 fun, fun. You lied. Um, and let's see. Oh, so let's, let's go on to um, DUIs, shall we? DUI in Ontario. First offense. I love that there's no S, that's a C instead. They spell it first offense. O F F E N C E. Oh, Canada. First offense. Mandatory minimum $1,000 fine. Whew. How will Koki get his rent paid? <laughs> she has a DUI. Koki ain't gonna get his rent paid next month, I guess, if she gets a DUI. Maximum 10 years in prison. I don't think that's gonna happen, but like, mandatory minimum a thousand dollars that's a lot of money second offense mandatory minimum 30 days imprisonment <laughs> mandatory third offense mandatory minimum 120 days in prison and then for each one it's like maximum 10 years in prison which who's gonna get 10 years <laughs> um not her so and then there is some more about that. Hold on a sec. One thing that really pissed me off too is how she kind of downplayed the fact that, oh, it's okay to drive, well, high on cannabis. That's fine. Like she, 
she kind of alluded to it. I, I was listening to her choice of words and I was like, you're, you're really alluding to the fact that you think it's totally fine to use weed and drive. And then you kind of backed, walked it back a little and were like, well, you know, I don't do it. You know, I wait a few hours and I'm like, but you, you rage stream. So once again, you rage stream. So you were doing it you proved to us that you did it because in a fit of rage you showed your true self because we always show our true selves in fits of rage that's the best part about being in a rage is you show yourself and who you really are in that moment it's true anyone who rages like that is really being authentic that's the only authentic self is that everything else is fake as f you know what i'm saying the only time I think she's authentic is when she's rage streaming. That's why I always tell you guys I love rage streams because that's when she's honest. <laughs> like she's so honest. Like we all know how bothered she is by a side ponytail. Okay, can we just talk about that? <laughs> oh, oh, she gonna go to the doctor. She's cured. She's gonna go back to therapy. She's doing her intuitive eating. What the fuck is intuitive eating for her? So I've seen you intuitively eat Nashville chickens nonstop. I mean, I intuitively want to eat like all the chocolate, but I don't because I know that that's not a good idea. There's a chocolate all around me and me being like, I was intuitively eating. <laughs> and then I'd be sick. Oh God. Man, shut up with that intuitive eating nonsense. Oh, then she's like, I haven't heard from the weight loss clinic. And I shit you not, you guys, I busted up laughing when she said, I haven't heard from the weight loss clinic. I'm like, yeah, I don't think they're gonna call you. <laughs> Just to, if I had to guess. <laughs> if I had to guess, I don't think they're gonna call you. But that's cute that you think they are. <laughs> oh, I wanna be in the room with her when she's at her doctor's because I bet they're pissed. <laughs> <laughs> she is like, I gotta address some health issues. I'm like, oh, this is the part where we address all the health issues of the cycle. Yay, my favorite. This is where you're gonna go to the ER and, and try to milk it for everything it's worth and then you'll just disregard everything and go back to doing what you're doing because that's what you do. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Sounds good. So, mm, okay, girl. <laughs> So let's see. Oh, so anyways, we are back to the DUI. Back to the DUI. Yeah, sorry. I got off track. I went on a tangent. The tangent lasted forever. But she is like alluding to the fact that she can drive and be stoned. Like, what? No. No. Once again, it, it's great that you're doing something that's legal, but you still can't drive on it even though it's legal i don't understand the, the the disconnect here between oh it's legal so it's fine no it yeah it's legal to have you can have a certain amount on you that's fine but you can't drive and be under the influence of cannabis and i don't even think you can have like copious amounts of cannabis too like i think even there they're like have a limit like okay you have way too much weed on you <laughs> But I am not about to go look that up because we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, which will probably be tomorrow. <laughs> but till then, <laughs> I'll look it up eventually. Um, so let's see. There are two prohibited levels of THC, the primarily psychoactive component of cannabis. Duh, I know. Okay, thank you for pointing that out to me, Internet. It is a less serious offense that to have between two nanograms and five nanograms of THC per ml of blood. It is a more serious offense to have five nanograms of THC or more, more per ml of blood. Girls probably have way more than that in her system. You see how many edibles she eats? Oh my God, there is no way she just has five nanograms. And I'm sorry, I don't believe that for a second. I believe she's probably like maxed out. Her blood is probably like <laughs> she got so much weed in her, her blood is gone. It's just turned to hash. Combination of alcohol and cannabis. Prohibited levels of alcohol and cannabis when found in combination 50 milligrams or more of alcohol per 100 ml blood and 2.5 nanograms or more of THC per ml of blood. I know she's drinking. 
she be acting drunk. And I'm sorry, I'm gonna go back to, I do not believe for a second that she is on opiates because she does not have the opioid voice. Y'all gotta remember the opioid voice. It's very grovelly. It's, it's a telltale sign when you're on opioids is a grovelly voice and you straight up nod out and you nod out funky, okay? Let me tell you, it, it gets real funky, okay? I don't believe for a second she's on opioids. I believe she's just drinking. And on her liver, girl, girl. And you shouldn't be doing this much cannabis because your liver metabolizes it. So I, with your liver, I don't think it's a good idea, but who am I? Who am I? You know more, you know better. That's fine. So then they go on, so drug impaired driving, okay. That's the part we want to get to because she she claims she tries to allude to the fact that it's okay for her to drive and there's <laughs> it, it it begs to differ here it, <laughs> having five okay so drug impaired driving um, constitutes as having five nanograms or more of THC per ml of blood within two hours of driving girl be doing way more than that she's got to have way more than just two nanograms I have to figure out like how much two nanograms is. Stand by, please stand by. A billionth of a gram. <laughs> you knew that. <laughs> I did, I swear, I promise, I knew that. So, <laughs> what is that? Like one hit? <laughs> Shit, dude, <laughs> God. <laughs> I wanna see, they have to explain it, but I wanna see how they explain it to a stoner. <laughs> less than two nanograms of THC, no issue. Two nanograms, but less than five, max a thousand, five nanograms or more. Um, and then they're showing, um, the oh, how they'll test it. So they can test it through a Drager 5000. Drager 5000. I feel like you should say Drager 5000. <laughs> it sounds like, it sounds harsh. Let me pull out the Drager 5000. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Anyways. Um, it has been selected by the Department of Justice as a potential choice for police officers. It is important to note that currently there are many concerns about using this device for a THC roadside test. Oh, it has issues. Oh, no. But then there's the Delta 9 THC. It's a molecule of cannabis that can be found specifically in the mouth after smoking. Ooh, they're getting fancy up in here. I don't know any of this stuff. I, don't have, I haven't had to worry about this stuff for 21 years, you guys. Do you know how awesome it is to not have to worry about this kind of shit? Oh, I love it. I love it so much. <clears throat> Sometimes there'll be a cop behind me, though, and to this day, I'll be like, what do you want? <laughs> I haven't done anything. And then I get all paranoid. Like, I haven't done anything, right? I haven't, have I? Like, I don't know what it is, man still to this day and then they pass me I'm like oh that's what I thought <laughs> being sober is fun and trippy sometimes because you still have that forever guilt <laughs> what I didn't do it man I swear <laughs> and the cop drives past me I knew it I knew it wasn't me <laughs> struggles <laughs> sober struggles but man, I haven't had to worry about any of this. Do you know how awesome that is? I'm just now, it's kind of hitting me. Like I take this stuff for granted kind of, you know? Like I don't have to worry about being too impaired to drive. I haven't had to worry about that for a long time. That's amazing. I'm so glad. Like, oof, forget that shit. Anyways, so we, we've kind of delved a little bit into the magical world of DUIs and stuff. And like, don't stop just stop like great you're gonna do vlogs and you're gonna do a time warp you say you're gonna do a time warp we'll see we'll see sure 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 you might do one and they'd be like see i did it oh okay cool you did one congratulations yeah but like <laughs> come on is anyone buying this bs i i'm not i it's kind of like the thing. I always do the same thing. I'm like, ooh, maybe. And then I just was like, yep, yeah, probably not though. <laughs> like she, 
like I think honestly I think she is super paranoid that she police officers are watching her live streams like maybe that's why she's doing this like she just feels like she needs to lay low for a little while she'll be back at it though she'll forget she'll get something will piss her off like French Red Girl will come on and she'll have a side ponytail and all hell will break loose. Something will something will set her off. Something trivial will set her off. And then she'll be back to rage streaming and I'll be, you know, I'll be over here like, hey, I love it when you piss. I love it when you piss because you tell the truth. What? I swear to God, I want to be in the room when these cops are talking. Cause I want to hear what they say. And then I want to be in behind her. I want to like creep up behind her in her video and be like, that's not what they said. They didn't say that. And you know it. Stop lying to Marissa. Oh, did you hear Travanda's gone? I'm so sad. I miss Hi, Travanda. Damn it. Rest in peace forever in our hearts, Travanda. <laughs> forever in our hearts. <laughs> Somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> Travanda's fly. <laughs> I think this will turn her life around. No. But I think it would be scary as hell and I know that her one night in jail, one night in jail would scare the shit out of her. And I would just love to see her rage stream after that because you know it would be epic. So will it change anything? No, because like I said, she knows everything and I'll just keep saying that in every video. Like you can't change someone who has all the answers. Like there's no reason for someone to change if they have all the answers. Why would you change if you have it all figured out? I mean, even if you don't have it figured out, but you think you do, which she clearly does, like her reality is so distorted. Like she lives literally in an alternate universe, you guys. Like I know it's hard. She said something interesting that I wanna do and I actually could do it. So I happen to like Halloween like a lot, like, this bitch is all about Halloween. So <clears throat> we do our house up like really big. Like we go big here. Like it's practically like I used to register it on the next door app as a haunted house. So if you want to see our Halloween decorations and like we do so much Halloween shit. It's insane. Like we're so into it. Like do you want to do like some Halloween stuff? Because your girl will do it. She loves Halloween. And I'm not talking about pumpkin spice shit because I actually don't hate me. But I don't like pumpkin spice lattes that much. <laughs> Like, I'll get one and then I'll be like, oh, it's so sweet to me, though. It's too sweet. It's sweet. Like, if I do a pumpkin spice latte, like, I have to do, like, one pump of the syrup because it's too much. Like, I swear to God, Starbucks just loads you up with sugar. It's ridiculous. Like, I don't like to drink my calories. But <clears throat> I'll get, like, one when I'm feeling, like, festive, like, at Target. <laughs> Like, I'll be like, I'm at Target buying fall stuff. I should get a pumpkin spice latte. And I do, because I'm a basic bitch. <laughs> I ain't above it. But anyways, I could do, like, some stuff before. <laughs> I could do some some fun Halloween stuff. I can get creative, too. Um, oh, dang. I wish I could vlog at, like, we have, you guys, I don't want to go this year, though, because I am kind of, like, emotionally done with, this place but we have like the most amazing haunted corn maze it's so close to my house it's legit <laughs> I know you I know other places in the country around the country have really cool but I'm telling you ours is legit but we absolutely cannot video and there's like so much security that you can't get away with it like I one year I took a selfie and I got in trouble I almost got kicked out of the corn maze, which I was like, oh, can I be kicked out of the corn maze? Cause I'm kind of over it. <laughs> like, I don't know, it's exhausting. Like it sounds fun. And then when I'm actually doing it, I'm just like, I don't want to be here. <laughs> I'm not, I just, oh, 
Ugh. Anyways, but we could do like fun fall stuff. Anyways, you get the point. You you get it. You get it. We'll go to like some damn pumpkin patches. I'll take the dogs. <gasps> oh, dogs and pumpkin patches is just iconic. Matilda, I'll have to get them in their little sweaters. Yeah, they'll be adorable. You'll love that. So I'll do it. <laughs> and you know I will. I keep my promises. I barn vlogged and that shit was crap. I still got up because I was like, I promised. Fall, let's get fall. Okay. I'm sad summer's almost over though. Can, can, who, can I get my summer people in my corner here? Summer people, like honestly, fall sounds great on paper, but when you live in the Pacific Northwest, it means like the bottoms of your pants are soaking wet like for like the next six months. It's miserable. And we don't own umbrellas here because that's dumb. <laughs> Because it doesn't rain like you think it does. So any of you who've never been in the Pacific Northwest, it doesn't rain like hard. It's like a, a mist most of the time. So there's really no reason to have an umbrella like ever. I think there was one time I seriously needed an umbrella because it was just like a monsoon. I was like, okay, no. <laughs> I draw the line. <laughs> and I had to go buy an umbrella. But I don't, I don't even know where that umbrella is. I don't own an umbrella. And the bottoms of your pants are always wet. Your shoes are always wet. Everything is wet and it's just, it's damp and it's like colder because, and then, and then your streets flood because like all the leaves fall and then the rain gets on them and they get clogged in the sewage drains and then everything floods and then there's like salmon like swimming through your street. Yes, yes, salmon literally have stopped at a road flooded over and have seen salmon swimming through <laughs> been like well ain't that some shit <laughs> and yes i know what a salmon looks like because i'm from the pacific northwest we all know what salmon looks like <laughs> like we're half salmon <laughs> i am 40 percent salmon and 60 percent potato okay <laughs> but like it's just is not cute. <laughs> I don't like fall. <laughs> and it's football season. And, hey, you like football, that's great. But here, like, our fans, okay, shh, come in close. Come in close. Seahawks fans scare me. <laughs> They're so psychotic. Like, are your teams as crazy as ours? Like, does your team, like, light off fireworks after every damn play? I, like, I kid you not. Russell Wilson could take a dump and everyone would light off fireworks. Like, you did it! You pooped! <laughs> Let's light off fireworks! No, seriously. It's annoying. And the thing that really, I had to unsubscribe to Nextdoor because like people would get so mad if you were lighting off fireworks on July 5th but no one ever says, like, I'm talking, calling the cops on you. Like, if I hear one more firework, I'm calling the police. I'm like, oh my God, chill out, Karen. Like, it's July 5th. Like, let people, like, use up their fireworks. No. And then, and then a couple months later, when football season starts, everyone's like, oh, fireworks where? Anyways, thank you for letting me get that off my chest because... I know what fall is. Everyone's like, oh, so excited, cooler, crisp weather. And then everyone's like, oh my God, it won't stop raining. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's fall. <laughs> yeah, that's fall. That's the season you wanted. That's the season you were romanticizing. How quickly you forget. Anyways, everyone have a great night. Take care. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out. Thank you.